Hey everyone, it's Pete from eTechnics. We're here for just a quick overview and unboxing of the new ROG Strix X299 eGaming motherboard. Obviously this motherboard does come with support for the latest Intel Core X series processors. Uh, it's got Intel Optane support, supports multiple graphics cards, lots of RGB light and that kind of thing. So yeah, let's have a quick look at what we get in the box. So straight away we can see everything's packed really nicely. We've got a nice welcome to the Republic thing in there. I think that's just packing. Yep, so off to the side of that. Everything's wrapped up in a nice anti-static bag. Pop, okay, well, we'll pop the motherboard to one side for a moment and we'll have a look at the extras. Some cable stickers, always handy. Some more stickers. There is some hardware in here too, I promise. 20% uh, off of the cable mold store. Driver disc. Won't be using that, I'd always download my drivers fresh to make sure we get the latest one. Game off, you may enter. If you think that'll actually keep people out of your room. Nice owner's manual. Probably never going to read it, but you should. More packaging, so again, we'll just check that out of the way. Right, I guess the, uh, the back plate isn't built into this motherboard, so yeah, it is included. Nice black finish to it. All the usual cables, we've got some SATA cables and some RGB LED extension cables. We've got the NVIDIA SLI bridge. It's only a single one. Um, we've got an M.2 mount and cover there. And I'm not actually sure. Ah, oh, that's the uh, Wi-Fi antenna there. That's, that's quite a weird looking design, so let's have a quick look at that. Okay, yeah, so it's just a, a two-part two part mount Wi-Fi antenna. What else we got? More RGB LED cables, some general fittings for M.2 drives, cable ties, all the usual stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much everything you need to get it installed. But again, move the box out of the way. Yeah, now for the start of the show, we've got the motherboard, which is... Wedged in there pretty good. Sorry, I didn't stab my hand on the uh, PCB at all. Mm. I'm sure all this. Right, we finally got it free. So, uh, as you can see, we've got the full motherboard here. It's got some really nice heatsink designs. This one here is, I thought that was metal as well. This one's plastic, so it's just a hollow cover on the rear slots. We've got some RGB lighting in there. I'm assuming it's RGB lighting. I'd be very surprised if it wasn't. Uh, this one here is actually metal, really chunky, quite heavy feeling as well. Um, we've got eight DIMM slots, it says here, for Intel Core X series processor, four core, install the DIMMs. Yeah, okay, channel C and D. Yeah, that's standard stuff. Uh, obviously, we've got the new X299 socket. Um, quite surprised that's a silver design here I guess it is a, a, a mid-range board I've noticed on some of the other ones this is actually black finish so it does blend in a bit better um, I try not to knock over my camera on here we've got the ROG logo and a nice little sort of holographic mirror block I'm gonna guess that's RGB backlit as well I'd be again very surprised if it wasn't we've got a huge shroud design down here obviously that covers the the chipset but bridges off over here looks like yeah there's an M.2 drive Bay under there as well. Um, is there just the one there? No, that I believe there are two under there, but we'll we'll take that off in the review and we'll have a, a proper closer look at that as well. Um, everything else looks reasonably standard. You've got all your usual array of connections down here. Uh, you've got your BIOS debug light. It doesn't look like we have any onboard controls, which is a shame because they're always quite handy for overclocking. Um, We've got an 8 plus a 4 pin power connector for the processor, 8 SATA ports, the USB 3.1 and 3.0 connections for the front panel. Um, we've got some nice gold caps down here and a PCB separation for the onboard DAC. And finally, around the back, we've got a good amount of USB 3.1, 3.0, 2.0 ports. We've got a single RJ45 connection. I'm not sure which chipset that is, uh, but we obviously will look at that in the full review. Built-in Wi-Fi, onboard audio, and there's a BIOS reset switch at the back. So there are some onboard controls. It's not a lot, but I guess if you do 
fluff up your overclocking settings, you've got an easy out without opening up your chassis as well, so that's quite handy. But yeah, there we have it. So we're going to have the review of these really soon. Uh, we're about to get these fired up on the test bench and see what sort of results we can get. So yeah, keep an eye out for the full review very soon.